Hey guys, it's Reggie Draws. Creation myths always fascinate me. In almost every culture and religion has their own version of how the universe was created. Today, I bring you a fascinating story of how the universe was created according to the Nauru people. So stay tuned to learn more. So most creation myths always start with a heavenly being, like a universal god that existed before everything else. But what if I told you that the Nauru people have a different version of how the universe was created? And that story doesn't revolve around a god, but around a spider. And this mythical spider is called Eriop Ina, the old spider. So before I tell you that story, I just want to say a quick thank you. My name is Reggie and this is Reggie Draws, and I'm a new creator. And what I do is I make a speed drawing of mythical creatures and I give you a little bit of a backstory of the history or the story of those creatures. And if you like this sort of content, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit the like and subscribe so you can see more of my content. I'll post a new video every week so you can stay up to date. Now with that being said, I present to you Ariop Ina, the old spider. Enjoy. In the beginning. The universe was nothing but a dark endless void, and in this endless void was a godly spider, imbued with powers and spells. This spider knew nothing of itself, nor of the universe that surrounded it, and as far as the spider knows, it has existed since the beginning, and believed it to be alone as it traveled across the void. The universe was in complete darkness that time remained still. The spider, who did not have a name, did not know whether it was moving or staying in place, until one day it spotted a clam within the darkness. Curious, the spider approached the clam, as it had never seen anything like it since the beginning of the spider's existence. The spider walked around the clam. Amazed because it was the largest thing the spider has ever seen. The spider, not knowing why it was there, was curious and tried communicating with it, but to no avail. The spider, ever more curious, spoke all the languages that it knew when finally the clam started moving. The clam opened its mouth, but no words came out. The spider slowly approached the clam when it noticed a small snail inside. The spider's curiosity eventually caused it to go inside the clam when it suddenly shut its mouth, trapping the spider inside. The spider tried prying the mouth open, but it wouldn't budge, so instead it explored inside of the clam. There he noticed a small snail. The spider tried communicating with it and the snail responded back. The spider asked the small snail how it ended up inside this clam. The small snail replied that it didn't know and that it existed inside the clam since the beginning. The spider wanted to continue exploring and the little snail wanted to tag along, but the snail was too slow. So the spider placed the small snail under its arm and for three days they tried looking for a way to escape. Exhausted from searching, the spider rested with the small snail still under its arm, transferring its godly powers to it. After they've rested, they continued their way deeper inside the clam when they spotted a glowing object off in the distance. They went towards it and were surprised to cross path with another snail, but this one was far larger than the other one. The larger snail was also surprised the other creatures were inside the clam. As far as it knew, it was the only one there. The spider asked both snails if they could pry the mouth open. They agreed, and as the snails moved across the flesh of the clam, the spider spotted a white worm. The spider then approached the white worm and found out that it had been trapped inside the clam for an eternity. It too was a godly creature, but has lost all its strength due to being trapped for such a long time. The worm asked the spider, what it was doing inside the clam, and the spider replied that it too was trapped and that it's trying to pry the mouth open so that it could finally leave. 
The worm seeing that the snails were struggling to pry the mouth open, told the spider that it would help because it doesn't want others to be trapped inside for an eternity like itself. The worm stood up and it was so huge that it was able to reach the top of the clam. The worm pushed as hard as it could but the clam wouldn't budge. The spider, seeing his new friend struggle, gave the worm some of its powers, imbuing the worm with a powerful strength spell. The worm continued pushing that it started to sweat. At first, the sweat trickled down the worm and it started to pool around it. But as the worm continued pushing, it started to sweat more and more until the inside of the clam was full of the worm's sweat. The saltiness of the sweat caused the flesh of the clam to start moving more rapidly. And with the last ounce of the worm's strength, it pushed as hard as it can on the roof of the clam. And finally it spread open, releasing the worm's sweat into the void where it spread and became the oceans. The spider, finally released from its entrapment, was back to its godly form. The spider turned to the small snail and gave it some powers and transformed it into the moon. And then the spider turned to the larger snail. The spider also gave this snail some powers too and turned it into the sun. The spider then transformed the top half of the clam shell into the sky and the bottom half became the earth. The spider then took the flesh of the clam and turned it into the trees and the vegetation. And finally, the spider noticed its new friend, the white worm, exhausted and surrounded by a pool of sweat. The spider tried to help the worm, but the worm was too weak and no longer had the strength. The worm smiled at the spider and said, I am Rigi. What is your name? The spider thought for a second and replied, I've lived for so long that I never thought about giving myself a name. The worm looked at the spider and said, Then I will call you Eriop Ina, which means old spider. The spider agreed and thanked the worm for helping him escape and stayed by his side until Rigi took its last breath. Eriop Ina then carefully wrapped the body of the giant worm into its web cocoon and hanged it in the sky, which later became the Milky Way. The world was starting to take shape, but Ariop Ina felt that it was empty, so he grabbed some rocks from the mountains, and with its powers, created humans so that they could support the sky. Through Ariop Ina's powers, more creatures were created, but he didn't know what to call them, so he created a flying creature to annoy all the other creatures so that they could call on each other and kill it. And with this plan, Ariop Ina was able to know each of the creature's names. Finally happy with what he has created, Ariop Ina returns to the sky and back into the void, waiting for one day to return back to his creation. And that is the legend of Ariop Ina, the old spider. So that was Ariop Ina, the old spider, Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for a new video, let me know. I post a new video every week, so don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date. Until next time, this is Reggie Draws. Peace. Perfect. So that was Ariop Enoch. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you like. <clears throat> so that was Ariop Enoch, the old spider. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And you have. <clears throat> Three, two. So that was Ariop Enoch, the old spider. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know.